guys and welcome to what will probably be my Christmas SD quick look video and let me just reassure you it's not Christmas related at all so just consider this a Christmas relief. The game we're going to take a peek at this time is called Thunderburner and it's uh, developed and published by Larissa in 1991 and judging from the title and the screenshots it's uh, a bit of a uh, afterburner ripoff with a mech robot thrown in for good measure. And of course we're gonna have to check out the cover art by Frank Profumo. And there's this bunch of soldiers down in the corner that are just uh, playing it pretty cool. I mean the world is exploding around them and there's a big freaking mech just waiting to stamp on them. Well the guys in the back look a little bit more distressed but the three guys in the foreground? Mm, not so much. And I'm pretty sure that this has been, shall we say, inspired by some scenes from Aliens. I'm pretty sure that the dude to the left is Hudson. The guy in the middle, don't know his name, but I'm pretty sure it's from Aliens. And of course, the chick to the right is Vasquez. But enough said about that. Let's dive into the actual game. And we're actually using a cracked version because I couldn't find the original one. Uh, which also means we got a trainer, which I'm not going to use, at least not initially. And we also got the uh, level password code, so uh, we're going to check out the uh, the higher levels, because I don't think I'm going to be getting that far on my own, to be honest. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. I've no clue what's uh, going on there, but hey, there's lots of balls in the air. That That's good, right? <laughs> and I do love that cat animation. That looks really, really nice. Let's just listen to the music. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing and hearing so far. Also a pretty nice looking picture on the uh, title screen, methinks. We got a high score. Yeah, let's check out the high scores. I think someone mentioned there should be a nice uh, nice picture there. Oh yeah, that astronaut dude looks pretty cool. Nothing like the soldiers on the cover, of course, but hey. Also, Woody Allen has got the best score. Well, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Thunder burn, and that's that cat again. And we've got some sample sound effects. I'm just going to increase the audio a bit. So we've got this... <laughs> um, this um, mech robot thing that's running around in a very humorous way. <laughs> and, oh god, there's someone firing stuff at me. And we can also switch into a plane fighter. Oops, damn. I'm bashing my face against that thing. Oh no, please don't fire stuff in my face. That's mildly rude. We have a bee. Uh, and I think we can fire stuff, of course, as well. Um, don't remember what the bees did. I did qui quickly read the manual. Uh, and we're supposed to... Oh, tank! I didn't see that! That was bad for my health, apparently. I think we're supposed to pick up the bees and avoid the M's, if I remember correctly. Uh, not sure what to do with the... anything else. There's also... relays, I think they called it. We need to collect... Mm, three relays? Or something along those lines? I'm not sure what constitutes a relay, to be perfectly honest. But this game runs pretty decently well. I mean, yeah. It's not as slow as I had anticipated. And let's see if I can fly instead. Let's... oops. Yeah, we need some speed to, um, to fly. Let's gain some speed and push down and... Yeah, please, please don't... Ah, oh, I can't get out of the way for some reason. Grab the ball because balls are great. Press up and immediately hit something. Oh god, yeah, the controls aren't amazing. And please, just get past this damn statue. Here we go. That's more like it. It's a little bit slow and I think when we lose speed we um, have to land. And we need to stay close to the ground otherwise we're going to be falling down and hurting ourselves. 
And there's also fuel to take into consideration. We need fuel to run and to fly, obviously. Let's see if we can try flying again. I don't know why the speed is going... Oops. Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, this game looks pretty nice. I mean, a little bit wonky, that animation. The run cycle is... Oh god, looks a bit weird, but charming, I would say. Death to the statues? No, not really. And we can't shoot the trees because that would be too much to ask for in the future. Can't have that kind of weapons... weapon power. And I think my fuel is out, so everything is moving along really slowly. Let's see if we can find some of those bees, maybe. And grab them. Oh, there's a radar on top of us as well. So maybe we should just try and uh, find out where those white things are. Another bunker. Filthy... Bunker bastard. Let's see if we can grab the... Here's a, a bubble. A ball or whatever. Let's grab it. Do we get fuel? We do get... Fuel. And also... I lose my limbs. That's sad. <laughs> okay, I'm slowly getting into this. Let's see if we can find out if there's any more balls around. Screaming balls. And I think some of these are weapon power-ups as well. Oh god, there's something else. And some pickups will also uh, remove weapons. I think... Did that just remove a weapon? I think it did, because weapons are listed up to the right, I think. So, we're not supposed to grab the A's. I so, thought there was supposed to be M's. Well, well, never mind. Let's grab some more fuel. Shoot some more bunkers, because that's what my life is all about, apparently, these days. Ah, got a new weapon. And here's a TIE Fighter. Oh yeah, that's that's just what was missing. <laughs> They're stealing from Star Wars, aliens and whatever else. Oh, it's time to fly away now, I think. Oh dear, sweet Jesus, what the hell is that? I thought that was me. But that's obviously some sort of big evil enemy mech that I am that I need to dispose of. And we need to push down to fly up, that's a little bit annoying. Although I do prefer that control method. Ah, oh, the controls are not great. Can you please stop in front of the stupid mech? That, oh god, yeah. I mean, the graphics in this game looks pretty nice, and now I think I blew up again. Let's just keep blasting away here. Ah, oh, I blew up again. <laughs> At least I got a healthy supply of um, fighters and mechs. It's a little bit jerky and hard to avoid bullets. But, I mean, not a terrible game, really. It's kind of somewhat... Decent. I think I would have been into this back in the day. Maybe not so much now. It does feel a little bit um, rough around the edges, if you know what I mean. Level 2. Get the cat. So, yeah, we've got plenty of lives. Let's just explore level 2 a bit. Looks like a um, forest, kind of, with not many trees. Grab the balls, because that's what robots do. Let's just fly away and again... Can we...? I still don't... Oh, I'm gonna die now. Yes, I'm gonna blow up into tiny, tiny pieces of, uh, of my limbs here. Sound effects are pretty decent as well. Maybe a little bit noisy, of course, but... Pretty damn good. For, for an ST, I suppose. There's another thingy. Come on. Grab the... Oh, it's an M! Yeah, okay, the M ones are bad. It kind of looks like an A, though, but it's not. And I am out of fuel again, so I'm just crawling along very slowly. Ah, oh, more fuel. Good times. Oh, that thing is firing at me. Why does everything hate robots? I don't understand. We yeah, are such a charming, long-limbed fella. Come on, give me the ball. Oh, well, then again, don't. Now uh, the Empire is here again with their TIE Fighters. And now I have no weapons because I somehow managed to collect an evil pickup, right? Yeah, the M ones. 
Uh, I think it stands for Malad or something. They will actually rob my weapon. Oh, come on, give me the ball, you... Uh. Oh, yeah, hang on, there's another feature. Let's see if I can activate that. There's a, a rewind mode. So we can actually back up and try and, you know, get to redo a section that we failed. That's uh, pretty cool. That looks uh, pretty awesome. Let's back up to the point where I had some fuel, right? And that's more like it. See, we can grab the fuel ball. No, hang on, I still haven't got any fuel. Oh yeah, there is something about that in the manual. You can't get fuel by rewinding. Yeah, okay. That's uh, a bit of a bummer. And yeah, let's just kill myself. And uh, we're gonna start on the later level, I think. Let's do level seven, I think, just because I feel like it. AS38. Uh, yeah, that looks very much like uh, level two. I was hoping to get some variation here. Maybe we need to, uh, yeah, let's try a higher level. All right, level nine is actually uh, in the ocean. Well, not in the ocean, over the ocean, I should say. And I think we, why am I switching to a robot that's immediately drowning? That's a very bad idea, I think. Yeah, I can't figure this out. I thought he was supposed to press fire and then a direction, maybe up to increase the speed. Oh, hang on, that kind of worked until I yeah, hit something. Why are there things growing out of the ocean? Ugh. Yeah, I think we need to press fire and down to speed up. Here we go. That's more like it. Yeah, and I'm getting into this. We need to have a certain speed, otherwise we will crash and burn. Oh, dear God, there's anti-aircraft missiles here. And more TIE fighters. Yeah, this game does look pretty nice, I must say, but maybe could get a little bit... Uh, I don't know, repetitive? Oh no, don't, please don't, no! Oh, I'm running out of fuel again. I need to collect those relay things. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. Let's uh, try an even higher level, shall we? Uh, level 11 looks just like level 2 and level 7, I think. Uh, okay, level 12 is another ocean level. Okay, let's see if we can get some fuel here, or the relays, the screaming relay balls. And that is, oh, that is nicking my weapon. That is not good for me. Oh shit, I still haven't got a weapon and these things don't like me at all. And even when I die, my weapons are still gone. Oh god. Give me some weapon thingy. Uh, no, 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 please. Speed up. Don't... Don't stall. No. Oh, yeah, it's hard judging when you're hitting stuff. I felt like I was safe there, but nope. Please don't slow down. I didn't tell you to slow down. Why are you slowing down? And what... Uh, yeah, it's really confusing. And what? Yeah, I managed to gain some height there, but yeah, this is a little bit confusing, this game. Give me the thing. No, okay. Drowning time! Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's only maybe three different environments here. So it's a little bit... Come on, grab. Go left, please. Go left. Yeah, there's only three graphical styles and three types of levels, I think. So that's a bit of a bummer. Please, accelerate. Accelerate. Yeah, the controls are pretty damn finicky, I must admit. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Yeah, I'm hitting stuff, obviously. Hmm. What's this? No idea. Oh, I wanted that. And why am I not shooting that weird thing on the ground there? I don't know, it's just strange. Sometimes bullets just seem to be missing. Yeah, I mean, I could probably see this becoming a little bit frustrating and tiresome. If this is all there is. It looks nice and the scaling is pretty smooth and all that. I mean, that's good, but it seems to get pretty repetitive fairly quickly. So not maybe an amazing game, but I would probably have been playing it still back in there just to kind of see the next level and then I would have been pretty decently disappointed when I realized that there's only three types of levels. <laughs> but there are a couple of new sprites, of course, that's nice. But is that enough? 
I don't think so. And I'm out of uh, fuel again, so everything is moving along very slowly. I need balls. Please give me balls. Give me that weapon thing. I want it. No, nope, I don't. Change my mind. Oh, what is that? Some weird looking flying thing that doesn't really... Just gets in the way. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, some of these balls I think you have to grab with the uh, flying thing. But I haven't got any fuel, so that would be a bad idea. Also that thing. No clue what that does. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm done with this. It's uh, not terrible, but not great either. So uh, let's just have a look at a review, shall we? And the only English review I could find was in SD format. Pretty tiny, tiny review by Ed Ricketts. He gave the game an overall of 53% and he wrote, Thunderburner could have been an absolutely exceptional game, but its effects are what let it down. The samples are great, though the graphics are fairly primitive. For example, there are only a few frames of animation for each effect, and there's not really enough there to keep you interested for very long. Nice idea, shame it's a letdown all round. And he also wrote, The 3D Desert is a little bit like Encounter or Backlash. Those games have smoother 3D and more manic gameplay. The name's like Afterburner, and so is the game. Dire. <laughs> Yeah, the game is definitely a bit lackluster and I would prefer something faster like Backlash or even Space Harrier. So I would say this review is pretty spot on. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Thunderburner and I hope you have a great Christmas holiday and all that guff. And as always, catch you next time, next year, same time, same channel and all that. Cheers!